hello everyone this is mr mtt motive the trafferer welcome to the channel today is a very nice day uh, it hasn't rained as we have been experiencing uh, and today i'm on thika super highway heading to roiro today is a very beautiful day because i want us to tour roiro roiro is at the outskirt of nairobi city and uh, without much further ado let me check out and do some history research about it and give you the real details of roiro town Roiro a town is located about 20 kilometers or 12 miles in the northeast side of central business district of Nairobi city Roiro itself is a sub county in uh, in Kiabu county uh, and it is sit uh, within the great Nairobi metropolitan region according to 2019 uh, 22 uh, 2019 national population census uh, it is uh, fourth largest urban center in kenya by population the name roiro is a kikuyu uh, dialect uh, direct and possibly related to black cotton soil that is found in most parts of roiro east west south and north mm. In terms of business or economy, Riro is an industrial town with several major factories that they include Delvi Steel, Delvic, uh, Steel Mills, Superform Limited, Spinners and Spinner Garment Factory, Riro Mambati Factory and Riro Feeds amongst other. Uh, the Tatu City Industrial Park is also found within Ruiro and it is home to many factories that include Bidico, Copia Domain, Davis Sheriff, Tyne Road, Steel Co, Dr. Matrist, among other. Rocco Bank, such as NCBA, Diamond Trust Bank, Equity Bank, Cooperative Bank, Cedian Bank, Family Bank, among other, has also opened their branches in Ruiro Town. Also, there is a lot of uh, high-end uh, classic hotels and uh, restaurants, also shopping mall, the number of them are found right here in Ruiro Town. Talking of infrastructure, Roido is home to major government and private infrastructure development that include Tatu City. It is a 5,000 acre piece of land which has a mixed use project and uh, the proposed Northern City project which is also found in this area. It, uh, the development has not yet been ground bricked or the, it hasn't started but is a proposed. Also, there is prom uh, prominent government red infrastructure in Loiro that include, uh, include Riwa, <coughs> Roiro Siwa plant, that is the plant which clean, uh, clean sewage. Yeah. Also, we have a very great North Na Nairobi Eastern Bypass Highway. It is a dual carriage uh, highway. Uh, it's a part of the ring road which is around Nairobi City. Of course, uh, as usual, you can expect in a place like this one where there is a lot of industry, there is a lot of development happening, uh, expect that a number of population must go up. In, 20, in 2009, 2009, when the census was done, the, uh, the population was expected, uh, not expected, was but was uh, 200,358 uh, residents but in in a span of 10 years that is in 2019 when the census was done the number doubled to be 400,901 uh, people that is the all people the population the total population of the area 
this seems uh this says that this area is growing at a very high rate because if you can expect a uh, area like this in another 10 years you can expect that the number can double so it will will be talking about uh, a number of at, at least a uh, hundred eight hundred almost nine hundred thousand people yeah so it's uh is a wait and see uh, how development will shape up and will increase possibility and chances of development not only in development but also in uh, up, up, uprifting the residence uh, residence uh, rifle state of rifle yeah And of course, whenever there is a lot of people, uh, let's talk about education because they have to be educated to do their job or to work in those uh, state uh, state of company and all that. Education, uh, uh, there is two major or main campuses which are uh, in Ruido town or in neighborhood. We have ZTEC University. The main campus is located in uh, Ruido. We have Kiriri Women uh, University of Science and Technology. Also, it is in Ruido. Uh, though in the Muehoko area. Also, we have Kenyatta University, the main campus. Also, we have the Ruiro campus. They, they are also located within the Ruiro area. Also, we have the uh, uh, AMREF International University. This is uh, an university which is under construction right now. The construction started in 2022. It was a ground broke uh, by the former president, President Uhuru Kenyatta. And uh, right now the construction is ongoing. It, it will be located in Northrand City Rand. Yeah, if you know the Northrand, it's part of the, the Kenyatta family land. <laughs> Let's leave that at that point. Yeah, we have a lot of education institutions, even at the colleges, we have a lot of them. We have like NIBS or Nairobi Technical College. We have a lot of colleges around there that uh, are around this rural area and its neighborhood. Also, we have the uh, primary school. There is a couple of them. Even I can't, I can't count them at this, at this point because I have to do a lot of research to know all of them. There is a couple of them. So this says that education-wise, Roiro is well uh, equipped. Uh, we can't complain about the education or the institution development. Uh, education institution, <laughs> what am I saying? Education, uh, educational uh, project. Yeah, educational project. We can't complain of that. There is a couple of them. If you once visited Roiro about 40 years ago and you visit it right now, I'm sure you will be surprised. Not only surprised, even you will get lost. Why? Because uh, this area was a coffee and sisal pra plantation. There, all the farm in this area or all the land uh, was growing coffee and sisal all over Roiro. Uh, the Ruido town itself was just a small shopping center. From Ruido River, Vika Road to almost near KU uh, Farm or KU Rand, all this area was growing sisal and coffee. And right now, I was saying that you, if you come in this area, you will be surprised if you were here in about 1970s or 1980s. Right now, there is a lot of development. Talking of development is about housing. Housing here is on a higher note. Even people right now are pranking, are continuing prank, uh, pranking out Saiso and uh, the remaining coffee to build houses, to build apartments, to build cities like Tatu City. Uh, remember, Tatu City farm was 
a full of coffee but right now uh, i hope i will visit statue city soon so that i may have a real feeling although on my last video i passed by if you haven't watched my last video i passed by tattoo city when i was doing rural to kamete road or kamete maximum prison uh, route video you check out that one so i will be uh, talking of uh, uh, tattoo city all the coffee that was going there was pranked out and light now it is development houses apartment and also industries Most people prefer to live in Riro and work in Nairobi city and this is because of the Dika Superhighway which made Nairobi city very easy access or accessible yeah you can access in Nairobi city in a very easy way using uh, uh, we using a Dika Superhighway also if you don't want to use Dika load you can also use bypass there is a lot of way you can access Nairobi city and that uh, that make this town to be one of the favorite place for people to buy homes to build apartment for rental also to rent yeah it makes this place look um, amazing and awesome to live not only that is the cool and uh, very healthy area not only what am i i'm talking about cool uh cool and uh, sweet well, I, even I am racking words to explain how this place feels because it is like a village. There is a lot of trees, there is a lot of uh, rife greeneries. So you uh, being in a uh, rural town and or its outskirts, you feel like you are living in a village or uh, uh, yeah, you, are, you feel very comfortable living here. Even for me, I... I can prefer living in an area like this one, uh, but sometimes you may not be able to live. Yeah, this is Rido Town. This is the Dika Super Highway. You can see that uh, up evolve. So let's go back to Rido Town and see what's going on. If you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. Uh, support your boy Mr. MTT with a subscribe, and I will appreciate so so much. Without more speaking or more talking, let's enjoy the views of Naruto Town. This is Naruto Town.
And uh, that has been my time right here in Loiro Town. I have enjoyed every minute, every second that I have spent here. I have been enlightened that how business are booming in this area because it has been some months since I was here. I see there is a lot of difference uh, from when I was here. By the way, the supermarket right here, this is Quick Mart. When I was here, Hakuku and I, it wasn't opened or it wasn't there. And, but I can see there is Quick Mart right there. Quick Mart is one of the biggest supermarket we have or supermarket chain. It have a lot of branches in the country. Yeah, it wasn't opened by then when I was here. So this is outskirt. I'm online now. On the outskirt, I'm going at uh, in the outskirt of Royal Town. That's why you will see the development of the high end building, Zime Pungua Pungua, or they are few in number, but still you can count them. There is uh, some few here and there. So that has been my time right here in Loiro. This is Motive the Traveler. Uh, kindly, kindly give the video a like, comment, let me know what you think about in the comment section. This is Roiro Town and this is Motive the Traveler on the bike. See you when you see me. Adios.